especially Latinos. You can always tell Latinos in the highway. Because that's that little sound that sounds like a mosquito <laughs> while you're driving in your nice little quiet car. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Big mosquito, man. <laughs> ah, yeah. they don't care, you know, they always like that little muffler. <laughs> <laughs> they can have, they can buy a Mercedes Benz and regardless, they'll take it to the mechanic, right? Uh, mira, look, mira, I want you to pull a muffler. Cause they get into details. I mean, I want you to pull them. You see right here? You see right here? I want you to pull it like there, like that. And I want it to go. Um. Mira, if it don't sound like. Um. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, too much. Shit. And we're nosy. Latinos, we are so nosy. We can see an accident eight blocks that way. Latinos just start running. Where you going? To an accident. <laughs> to an accident. They all want to get to the yellow tape first. <laughs> Whoever makes it to the yellow tape first can tell everyone else. What the fuck happened? <laughs> and he'll be there proud of it! <laughs> Pe people start coming, what happened? Oh, it's an accident. <laughs> you know, they call, they call, you see, they call when I bang like that. <laughs> Are people okay? I <laughs> Can you ask the police? Oh, I'll ask wait a minute. <laughs> Officer! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, an accident. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> Looking at, looking at me like I'm Shrek in a jean suit. Look at y'all motherfuckers. What's going on? Y'all all right? All right. Everybody fucking with the Indian people. You better leave the Indian people alone. Making all kinds of stereotypical jokes up here. Meanwhile, somebody gets sick. Oh, it's the doctor. Oh, now you want a doctor, huh? Now you need a doctor. I am a doctor. He's a doctor. She is a doctor. And you're gonna die because you kept on fucking with us. I am not gonna do nothing. I could save you, but I won't. How many ladies hate this when you at a club and a guy buy you a drink and then follow you all over the damn club? You hate that, ma'am? Well, you should buy your own shit next time. How about that? Because I'm that motherfucker following you around. That's me. I'll buy you a drink. I'm moving in your apartment. I don't give a fuck. And if you go in the ladies' room thinking you got rid of me, I'm coming in there too, goddamn. Oh, I buy you a drink. I want to hear you pee my shit out. I don't give a fuck. That's the type of guy I am. Fellas, you ever buy a woman a drink that don't even fucking drink? Yeah, but she still accept the offer, right? Because her girlfriend right next to her said, tell her that you want a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Then when a cop looks, she pointing at her girlfriend like, you be doing that shit, you be doing it. Why do women do that? Why, why do, and why do men buy women drinks in, club, in the club? Why do men do that? Can anybody be honest? To get some. Oh, damn, you, you ain't got, you ain't holding back at all. It's like, to get some pussy out there. Does it work? 
<laughs> well, not for me, because I done lost a couple thousand dollars trying that shit out. Oh, yeah, last girl I got drunk, I got her drunk so another dude in the club could fuck her at the end of the night. They both left in front of my face, too. Knowing all my liquor in her belly, she walked the path like, thank you, it was nice meeting you, thanks for the drinks. And the dude was with her looking at me like this, yo, good looking out, my man. You got this girl drunk so I could fuck her, thanks a lot. I didn't have to spend a dime. <laughs>